Now, this is the first good privacy news I've had in a long time. And I really want to say thanks to my friends in the USA. The UK backs down in Apple privacy row, US says. This is on the BBC. The US Director of National Intelligence says the UK has withdrawn its controversial demand to access global users' data if required. Think about that. The UK wants access to your data, even if you're not based in the UK. So here's the tweet. They have been working closely with the UK to ensure America's private data remains private and our constitutional rights and civil liberties are protected. As a result, the UK has agreed to drop its mandate for Apple to provide a back door that would have enabled access to the protected encrypted data of American citizens and encroached on our civil liberties. Okay, so is there anyone out there that wants to help me move to the US? Because I tell you, the stuff in the UK is getting worse and worse. The UK has demanded Apple give them backdoor access basically for a long time. And now we have a bunch of new laws, including the Online Safety Act that basically gives the authorities all kinds of power that I won't go into on this video, but I might do once I move to the US. So in December, the UK issued Apple a formal notice demanding the right to access encrypted data from its users worldwide. Again, if you're based in the US or in another country, the UK government would have had access to your data if they wanted it. However, Apple cannot view the data of customers who have activated its toughest security tool, advanced data protection, which prevents anyone other than the user from reading their files. In order to do that, they would have had to break their own encryption methods. And Apple says, we never built a backdoor or master key to any of our products or services, and we never will. Thank you, Apple. So they withdrew ADP from the UK market. I mean, it was a nightmare. And to make it worse, the UK has the secrecy surrounding the government order issued under this act. So it's not known whether other tech companies have also received a demand. WhatsApp, as an example, says they haven't at this point. But as a lot of privacy people have said, if true, this decision is hugely welcome, said Sam Grant from civil rights group Liberty, which along with Privacy International previously launched separate legal action against the UK government. It's just mad how the UK government wants to break end-to-end -end encryption and get access to your data through a back door. Whenever there's a back door, it doesn't just mean that the government gets access, it means that hackers could potentially get access to your data as well. I'm very glad to see this once again. Happy to see that the US has pushed against this. Hopefully they can push against other things that the UK are trying to do, including trying to get companies in the US with no UK presence to conform to UK laws.